bright duty every student matters hello learners welcome to your math class let us see what we are going to learn in today's class so today we are going to learn about triangles i hope you remember that from the previous classes we learned about point we learned about line segment lines ray curves sides vertices and diagonals polygons and angles so let us begin this class by starting with triangles now how can we define triangles in geometry a triangle is a closed two dimensional figure with three sides three angles and three vertices okay let us see how we can draw them if it is said that triangle let me just take a thick pen hold on so here if i am drawing a two dimensional figure i hope you know what is two dimensional something which is flat is two dimensional like this rectangle i'm sorry this triangle that you are seeing in front of you is two dimensional okay so in geometry a triangle is closed two dimensional figure clearly we can see this is closed figure right all the points are joining each other and it has got how many sides it has got 1 2 and 3 so total three sides how many angles we clearly see that it has got three angles and how many vertices three vertices this is a triangle and i hope you remember that triangle is the simplest form of polygon a polygon which is a closed figure made up of line segments so do you remember what needs to be the minimum number of line segments to form a polygon it is 3 and this particular figure that we are talking about that is a triangle has got three line segments so therefore this is the simplest form of polygon now how we can write them let's try to write the name of this particular triangle so each point we name as a b c or p q r or x y z anything you can name for these vertices now in order to write the name of this triangle we draw a small triangle like this okay and in front of it we write a b c now also i can write the name of this triangle as b a c or i can write the name of this triangle as c a b do you think there are any other ways to write the name of this triangle I think the answer is yes. As we have written C A B, we can also write C B A. As we have written here B A C, we can also write B C A. And as we have written here A B C, we can also write A C B. So do you see a single triangle here is written in six different ways? Okay, so this is how we name them. now moving forward let us see how we see the regions in a triangle so here in front of you you see a triangle which is colored in blue so whichever color that you see inside whichever area that you see which is in blue it is the interior part of this particular triangle let us write it here in interior so this is the interior part now if we see what is outside this all this part here all things that you see outside this triangle comes in the exterior region let us write it here x interior okay and i hope you remember that if something is sitting on the boundary we say it is on the boundary so if this is a point a it is sitting on the boundary that is on one of the or any of the line segment it is called as it is sitting on the triangle okay and if i draw a point here say point p can you tell me in which region this point p is lying it is lying in the interior region where is this point x lying it is lying in the 
exterior region and what about this point t it is also in exterior region okay so i hope the regions are clear with you and you also know what a triangle is and how do we name a triangle